Welcome to the Golden State Warriors News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. With a current record of 19 wins and 22 losses, ranking 12th in the highly competitive Western Conference, the Golden State Warriors face significant challenges in terms of scoring and presence in the paint. As the trade deadline approaches, the urgency to address these issues grows. The team needs careful evaluation and strategic decisions to overcome these obstacles and regain their competitive edge. The recent performance of the Warriors highlights the need for roster adjustments to improve scoring efficiency and internal defensive capabilities. As we prepare for the trade deadline, the Warriors are at a crucial moment, seeking solutions to reignite their competitiveness and propel them back into playoff contention. If you're as excited as we are to see these incredible changes in the Warriors, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button so you don't miss any details of this exciting transformation process. Come on, Warriors fans, join us on this journey of comebacks and victories. Possible Trades and Impacts, Exploring Options to Strengthen the Warriors Acquisition of Nikola Vuzevic and Javon Carter from the Chicago Bulls, the Warriors would aim to bolster their presence in the paint with Vuzevic, a talented center averaging impressive stats of 16.9 points, 10.7 rebounds, and 3.6 assists per game. His offensive versatility and rebounding ability would be a valuable addition to the team. Frontcourt reinforcement with Clint Capella from the Atlanta Hawks, Capella would bring solid defense and rebounding, filling a crucial gap for the Warriors. In exchange, the Hawks would receive players who would contribute to their rebuilding efforts. Acquisition of Jonas Valanciunas and Dyson Daniels from the New Orleans Pelicans, Valanciunas would add a unique outside threat to the Warriors' frontcourt, while Daniels would provide defensive depth and youth to the roster. Frontcourt rejuvenation with Jared Allen from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Allen would bring a combination of scoring, rebounding, and shot blocking to the Warriors, strengthening their presence in the paint as they seek to rejuvenate the roster. Addition of DeAndre Ayton from the Phoenix Suns. Ayton would offer a dominant presence in the paint, helping the Warriors compete at a higher level in the Western Conference. These potential trades offer varied solutions to the challenges faced by the Warriors addressing both their immediate needs and laying the groundwork for a stronger, more balanced future. Regardless of the choice, the goal is to align the new acquisitions with the team's playing style and strategy, maximizing their potential and the synergy of the roster. Conclusion, Forging a Promising Future for the Warriors As the trade deadline approaches, the Warriors stand at a crucial moment in their journey. The potential roster changes offer exciting opportunities to revitalize the team and enhance their competitiveness in the Western Conference. Fans can expect an exhilarating period of transformation and renewal as the Warriors seek to solidify their position as a dominant force in the NBA. The future may hold uncertainties, but with the determination and commitment of the team, the Warriors are well positioned to remain a force to be reckoned with in the league. Stay tuned for more updates on the Warriors. And don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments section below. Thank you for following the Golden State Warriors news, and until next time. My opinion? Well, considering the options presented, each of them brings unique advantages and challenges for the Golden State Warriors. Acquisitions like Nikola Vuzevic and DeAndre Ayton could certainly strengthen the team's clutch, while players like Clint Capella and Jared Allen would offer a solid defensive presence. However, there is always the element of uncertainty with any exchange. How would these new players integrate into the existing team? Would they adapt to the Warriors' style of play? These are important questions that need to be considered. And you, Warriors fan, what is your opinion on these possible exchanges? Which one do you think would be best for the team this season? Are you ready to see new faces in the gold and blue uniform, or would you prefer to keep the existing core? Share your thoughts.